All right, well, I'll, um, I've been harvesting potatoes so far. If this is my kind of my setup here, I've got a, uh, a wheelbarrow, um, got a bucket there, bucket there. That's what I've already harvested. This is the potatoes I already got. So, I mean, there's quite a few of that potatoes. They're fingerlings, so they're supposed to be small. So that's what I got so far. This is my last my last one to harvest. So I'm gonna try to do this one-handed so you can get a good shot of what I'm doing. Just gonna throw it in there. I've let them dry out pretty good so they're easier to harvest. Just flip it upside down. And when you let them dry out, they're easier to harvest because the dirt doesn't stick to them so much. So, um, so this is the beginning of the process here. Just turn it upside down. And then you go treasure hunting. And then they're usually somewhere in the middle. They're usually not right on the bottom. Looks like we already got some going here. Now these are these are pretty small. You know, I, I could have let the plant go a little longer. That's a baby. That's just he's just a baby. But I mean some of these other ones, they're called fingerling potatoes because they don't get real big. So we'll see what we got. This is the kind of easier if you like, pull the pull these stalks up and then all the a lot of the potatoes are just kind of connected to it that's what they grow off of so it's a lot of fun I really enjoy doing potatoes you know people say oh you know potatoes are so cheap to buy why do you bother growing them well I think the whole reason for me, the, the reason why I grow them is because you get such a big a variety. For one thing, you can grow organic. Organic potatoes have gone, a lot of them have gone GMO, genetically modified. You don't want really nothing to do with those. Um, organic's really the only way to go. Um, besides, you get such a big variety. Um, you know, I grow purple potatoes, I grow red potatoes. Um, oh, fingerling potatoes, there's just, there's just so many. You can't find that kind of variety in the store anywhere, so... Plus, you know where they come from, and they're fun. They're fun to dig up. I really like digging through the dirt for my food for some reason. I don't know. I get a kick out of that. You know, watching the plant grow, watering it, fertilizing, and then really, the, it's the ultimate reward is uh, getting food from it. It's something you can actually nourish your body with. So it's kind of cool. And I'm shaking out as much dirt I can, so because I want to reuse this soil for my next potato harvest. That's a big one. That's why they call it fingerling, see? <laughs> so, the kind of soil I used, I did something a little different this year. Um, used a lot of peat moss. And the reason why I used a lot of peat moss is because it's easy to get the, the potatoes out of. It's cleaner. Um, but also it's acidic and it, um, potatoes are less prone to potato scab if the soil is acidic. So one way to get it acidic is to add peat moss. So, um, and as you can see, I mean, they're perfectly smooth. There is no, no potato scab on it at all. So, I mean, it obviously works because I have had potato scab in the past. Um, the thing is though with peat moss is it dries out really fast you got to really watch your water you really don't want to uh, let them get too dry because they stop potatoes stop growing if they get too dry that's a nice bunch wow that's a good one nice I don't think they're supposed to get that big but they all taste the same and these tiny little ones are good for stews Nice size too. I think potatoes and carrots are probably my my favorite to grow. Although I don't seem to do very good with carrots. I don't know why. I I try everything and do all my research and try to do everything by the book. And uh, I still keep getting this weird disease. I don't know if it's a disease or if it's a, a worm or what, but they, they tunnel through 
all my carrots right as they right as they reach you know the m mature stage they get bombarded with uh, these weird brown things so, anyways getting off the subject so back to potatoes wow look at that one so getting getting quite a bucket load full I mean for two people this will be just right it's another good one and uh, no real blemishes I mean they look nice these are gonna really clean up good it's kind of funny how some get big and some other ones stay small I guess it's all different growing stages so these are all really just little babies that would have turned into potatoes they're kind of small you know, when you pick them that small, they just kind of get dried out. So, I don't really bother with those ones. Shake out the dirt. Usually the potatoes are still stuck by the vine, so they're kind of easy not to get lost. stragglers eh, he's kind of small I think that's the last see so okay so this is another good tip when you're harvesting your potatoes you know when you, well first of all when you plant you plant your seed potato and uh, you don't want to harvest your seed potato because it's it's kind of gross um, but this you can tell is the seed potato it's like it's darker in color it's kind of knobby it's a little bit squishy it's kind of discolored and also the main plant is coming right off of it off of it so um, yeah that that's not good you don't want to eat that all right I think that might be it let's see if I have anything Still hanging out in the dirt here. Oh yeah, there's a few. I really like the fingerling potatoes. They're a lot of fun. They're different, you know. I like to grow things different. Not just your old standard russet potato. Although I did grow those this year too. Those turned out really good. All my potatoes did good this year. But we've had an unusually nice summer. Um, it's been very hot. All right, look at all this good soil. Oh, there's an, my plant marker. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ozette. McCann Ozette. So, that's that kind of potato. Hope you guys are enjoying watching this. It's I'm a little shy, actually, so I didn't know how I'd feel about this whole um, video recording thing, but that's actually... Kind of nice it's kind of like I'm got some friends here to talk to so I figure if I you know share share my knowledge and uh, maybe some people can um, not go through so much trial and error as I did you know and they can save some time save some money um, I've learned a lot I've been gardening now for shoot I don't know over 10 years so I've got a lot, a lot to learn, but a lot to share too. A lot of success stories, a lot of not so success stories. But uh, yeah, so that's it. That's my potato harvest today. Got all this good dirt right here in this wheelbarrow, ready to go back in my pots. And uh, I'm getting some potatoes ready um, for replanting as we speak, actually. So, and this is what I got. I mean, that's, I don't know. That's probably, it feels like five pounds. <laughs> might be less but, but yeah totally cool organically grown rosette potatoes so anyways hope you guys had a good time and i will uh see you soon